In this video we'll be taking a look at command line scanner and how we can use that program to remove malware, spyware, trojans, viruses, worms, you name it. So we can use the A squared's command line scanner. You can get it from this website here. Okay, it's free to download, just come on the downloads page there, come down to where it says A squared command line scanner 4.5 it works with Windows XP, 2003, 2008 server, Vista, Windows 7 and it works on 64-bit operating system as well so it's about 70 to 80 megs in size just download that okay now I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to go to my computer and uh, I'm going to grab this zipped file and what I want to do is I want to actually copy all these files okay these are the files inside the zip file. We just open up another folder. I want to make a new folder in here. I'm going to call it AM2 CMD, like so. Oh, not AM2, sorry, A2 CMD. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to grab all these files and I want to paste them in there, okay? Just like I've done there. So just let them copy across. Now they will live in that C root directory. You don't have to move them. They're there waiting to be called upon from the command prompt, okay? So what I'm going to do is if you've got a, a pro if you've got a virus or something on your system that's stopping you running command prompt from the desktop, you can go into safe mode command prompt and run it from there, okay? And that's what you want to do. You can actually run the program from this environment as well, from the desktop if you want it to, but we're going to run it from the command prompt because that's what it's designed to do. So what we want to do now is I'm not going to infect the PC up, I'm just going to show you how it works. So I'm just going to restart this system. Once the system's restarted we'll boot into command prompt. Keep pushing F8. Now what I want to do here is I want to start in command prompt. Now assuming that you can't boot the PC up and you can only boot to command prompt this is where it's going to be useful. Okay, So you can boot up to safe mode with command prompt. Now the problem is you want to update this as well so you might not be able to update from, from safe mode command prompt. Okay, So that's a bit of a, a dodgy area there so you might need to update this on a regular basis just in case your PC does go down. Now we can choose any of these accounts, they're both administrator accounts, I'm just going to go on to my test account here. And this is the actual safe mode with command prompt. Now from there what I want to do is I'm going to type cd backslash and that will take us to our C root directory. Now I want to change directory to uh, A2 CMD, that's the name of the folder that I created on my C root directory and that puts us in there. I just want to test by typing dir to see if we're in the right place and we are because you can see a2cmd.exe that's the actual name of the program what I'm going to be running so now I know I'm in the right place let's just clear the screen so we can see what we're doing now what I want to do is here is put a2cmd.exe and this will give us all the commands and switches that we can use with this command line scanner so as you can see there's a load of switches and uh, commands here we can use I'm going to be using the deep one here because I want to do a deep scan. You can actually do a smart scan or quick scan as you can see. Also we've got a memory for forward slash M for memory. I want to definitely be using that and also traces. I definitely want to be uh, scanning for traces. Okay so I'm going to be putting a H in there and an R in there as you can see risk wear and stuff. And uh, also N I'll be using NTFS file system. I want to be uh, doing that looking for uh, streams and also let's have a little look D so I'll be doing a D command as well for delete now a thing that you've got to take into account here is malware attaches itself to system files and stuff like that. you've got to be very careful here if, if you push delete it may delete a file that is needed by Windows because you've now seen a virus there or something and it will delete that file and you'll go to reboot the system and it won't load it's okay to do that if you're comfortable about expanding new Windows files back into the system. What you could do is quarantine it if you wanted to and find out whether there's any system files there before you delete them. Okay, so you could make a folder and put a quarantine it into there, okay? 
so just bear that in mind now obviously you can see the update version here you've got a forward slash u and that will actually update the signatures now that's what you should be doing really before you do anything unless you keep the thing updated all the time then that's what I'd advise you to do always make sure you do updates first to get the latest signatures okay so what I want to do here is do our command so I want to do um, A2 CMD okay I'll do it slow so you can see what I'm doing dot exe and then space forward slash and I want to do deep like so then space forward slash and I'm going to do say N and then H and then M and then R okay what else we got there to do okay space T for traces and I want to do D for delete okay so these are the commands I'm going to be using you can use which ones whatever you like here okay so whatever you want to use you can use it I'm using these and all you need to do here is then just push the enter on the keyboard and this will run the program okay uh, from from the command prompt now this is very useful if you can't get to the desktop and you want to get to this area and run malware from this malware scanning from here this will clean off a lot of the infections that you've got okay now a squared is very underrated I think it's a really good program for removing infections from a machine so as I said you know it's a really good program to have and if you've got the folder already there inside the root directory sitting there waiting to use in case you never know when uh, malware strikes it may knock the PC out and you can't boot up and then at least you've got another way of uh, scanning the system okay and this is as you can see it here running through you've got their scanning files at the top there in percentage wise okay that's pretty much it really um, if you've got any problems just please remember you can always get over to our forums here this is our forum we've got okay it's brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum if you get yourself over here if you've got any problems find a designated area where you want to post that problem and uh, we'll do our best to uh, fix your problems for you okay there's plenty of good useful uh, guides on here tutorials on how to do stuff slipstreaming and whatnot it's growing all the time so get yourself over here register and uh, join the community anyway hope you've enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember hit the subscribe button and also uh, break for my videos and uh, leave any comments that you've got any there if you've got any there leave a comment so thanks again for watching guys, thanks for your support, bye for now.